so without wasting time let's get started tools from here you can zoom in zoom x axis zoom y axis and zoom out from here you can pan the graph pan and you can move this graph the way you want basically all these properties is available over here panning and zooming once you click it starts clicking it it will keep on zooming at that point if you want to zoom out click over here you will be able to zoom out the axis if you want to rearrange all this axis from here you can adjust all the axis so from here you can do horizontal as well as vertical zoom click zoom x click and drag up to the point where you want to zoom in so this will zoom in the graph like this the area you want to zoom just drag up to that area and it will zoom that area again auto scale if you want to zoom y axis select appropriate y axis and drag up to the area where you want to zoom and it will zoom the y axis again auto scale and zoom out from here you can zoom horizontally you can zoom vertically and you can set auto scale so ultimately shortcut of all these things is available over here now the next thing in zoom is axis scaling you can save the axis limits restore the axis limit automatically scale the axis limit the shortcut of these things is available over here scale axis limits scale x and y limits all these sections we have seen in configuration properties so we are not going to repeat all these things again the next thing is triggers and measurements so first we'll explore the measurement and then we'll go for the trigger so in measurement the first is trace selection the trace selection is basically to select any particular graph so from here you can select any of this graph and then you will do different measurements the next is cursor measurement we'll select it and you will be able to see two cursors on each of the graph so from here we'll select any of the graph let's select this middle one the red graph now when you move this cursor you can observe the change in the value right so it will indicate the value of x and y for this particular point if you want to observe the value for any other graph so from this trace selection you can select that particular graph and it will show x and y magnitude for that particular point so here it will show the time at this point this is point number 2 and this one is point number 1 so this one shows the readings for point number 1 and this two shows the readings of point number 2 So right now we are at seven, so it shows seven point zero zero six, and the magnitude is one point nine eight four. This delta t shows the horizontal distance between the point number one and point number two, and delta y shows the vertical distance between these two points. Here there is another small section available for settings. So from here you can set from waveform cursor to screen cursor. When you adjust it to screen screen cursor. you can move this cursor anywhere into this screen and the reading according to that point will be visible at this measurement section if you want to move this point only on the graph then you need to select the waveform cursor then after with the movement of this cursor the point will shift only on the graph and when you select the screen cursor then it will move anywhere into the screen so we'll set it to waveform cursor from here you can lock the cursor spacing if you move one both this line will be moving right because we have locked the spacing between point number 1 and point number 2 or we can call it as cursor 1 and cursor 2 snap to data if we want to snap to any particular data it will directly jump to the next taken data so we'll unclick these two things close it so these are the measurements which you can take from the cursor measurement the next is signal statistics 
so from this section you can have all the important statistics of the selected signal maximum value minimum value peak to peak value mean mid end and rms value for this selected signal so all the important quantities of selected signal can be observed from this signal statistics the next is by level measurement so in this by level measurements you can have multiple data let me close these two things so we can have a better view over here there is parameters of overshoot undershoot all these things are very much useful when you are dealing with the error signals right these are for the cycles it shows the frequency of our signal pulse width duty cycle all these things can be seen from this sections now we'll close it and go for the final peak finder in this peak finder from here you need to select the waveform we have selected sine wave 1 so here it shows there are three peaks available now when you click peak number 1 it will show the x and y of that peak number 1 and likewise it will show all the subsequent peaks so this is what the peak finder is we'll close it i have prepared varieties of videos on matlab tutorials if you want to explore if you want to learn matlab then you can explore my playlist so until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye